I think if we look at the market today, um, it's very strong. If we look at the aggregate profits from the German OEMs over the last 12 months, they've generated close to 55 billion of EBIT. They've generated approximately 25 billion of free cash flow. And they're sitting on 75 billion of net cash. So the industry today is in a very strong position. Um, if you look at the mass producers, there you have been to the IAA as well. There's loads of competition coming from China. The European Union thinks about um, yeah, changing that as well, perhaps levering some tariffs on them. Do you think that's the right way forward? I think if we look at the industry, it is a global industry with global supply chains, global manufacturing footprints, and we look at the European manufacturers, they are importing and exporting vehicles out of the region. So I think any kind of tariff or impediment to trade generally is a constraint for the car companies, and as a result, it's not clear to me that that would be the right way forward. Um, looking at those Chinese car makers, um, they kind of push very forcefully to the uh, European, especially the German market. Um, what is the likelihood, in your view, that they are going to be successful? Well, we think over time, if Chinese car companies have a full model presence, a dealer and distribution network, and a competitive product at a competitive price, they will gain market share in Europe. However, what we would caveat is when we look at where the, Euro the Chinese cars are pricing today in Europe, they're pricing at a very similar level to the comparable vehicles from the European manufacturers. So at the moment, they're looking to compete on merit in the battery electric vehicle world, and we'll obviously see how quickly they can build up a presence in the European market and take share. Um, and let's look at the overall industry trends because it seems that there is a differentiation strategy taking place with Tesla, for example, just having two cars, Mercedes going full on luxury. Um, is that something which you think is um, a positive and also attractive for investors? I think investors are looking increasingly at the individual equity stories and how the car companies are differentiating themselves. Clearly, the industry is going through this very large transition to battery electric vehicles. Vehicles. And I think that's forcing every car company to revisit how they approach the industry in the future. As you mentioned, we've seen product portfolio simplification from a number of traditional OEMs as they look to transition to the battery electric vehicle space. In addition, we have other OEMs who are still looking to develop a multitude of different powertrains because as they look globally, they're not necessarily convinced that battery electric vehicles will be the dominant technology throughout the world. And investors are trying to pick which strategy is the best, both in terms of efficient capital allocation and obviously ultimately 